Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of May 9th to May 15, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Libra, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit, angels, and guides, show me the energy of Libra in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see. First card we have for you, Libra, is the lovers in reverse. You feel disconnected from someone. Nine of Wands, feeling guarded here. The Fool in reverse, something's not, um, something's not getting off the ground. The Hermit, there's isolation there. Knight of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, we have Page of Cups in reverse. The Hangman and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Let me see what else. Five of, um, five of Swords in reverse, Magician and Page of Wands. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and ask the question. Um, let me see. You feel disconnected. That's what it's mostly saying. So what does um, Libra want in regards to love, in regards to whoever they're dealing with? What does Libra want or desire? We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. What else? We also have the Three of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Wands. I, I kind of feel like you don't know. I don't feel like this is a clear answer. I feel like this is a I don't know what I want type of energy. I kind of want things to start, start up again or I want things to work out, but at the same time, um, I think it's best if if things just stay how they are, even if it's not what I wished for. You know, I, I'm getting that energy of, I want this, but I don't want this at the same time. How are you currently seeing um, the person that you're dealing with, Libra? What is your current view of them? We have the two of wands, okay. For some of you, they're at a distance. They're at a distance, a physical distance. How else are you seeing them? Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. So you feel like this person doesn't really give you much to work with. You feel like they're... It's almost like they're in a state of limbo. They're neither here or there. So maybe that's why you're in this energy, Libra, because you're just kind of reflecting the, the energy of your person. They're the ones that are confused or they're the ones that are indecisive. They're the ones that are kind of back and forth. So then you're just reflecting um, their exact same energy. It's almost like you're waiting for them to, to take the lead, 
to, to set the course, to set the, the direction of the relationship. If they don't do anything, then you're not going to do anything. Yeah, if they don't take any type of action, then you just you don't feel like it's worth it then to invest in this person or to like be fully um you know, be fully like active with this person. You don't you don't feel like it's worth it to take action if they don't take action. If they don't show you any proof that they're really interested that they're serious about you, then you don't feel like you have any reason to, to do anything in, in favor of this relationship. They're not really giving you much to work with. So you're just kind of, I feel like you're looking at them. You're looking at them to to give you a sign, to demonstrate something, to show you something, to say something. It's almost like you feel like they have the upper hand or like it's, it's up to them or it's, you know, it's, it's in their hands. You're just acting you're acting in accordance to how they're acting. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at your person now. All right, spirit angels and guys, show me the energy of the person Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Okay, let's take a look. First card we have for your person, Libra, is Nine of Cups in reverse, Knight, King of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords at the bottom, Empress. Empress with the Three of Wands and the Strength card. Some of you are dealing with a Leo, with a Libra or Taurus. What else do we have here? We have uh, Air Sign also. Air Sign and Water Sign, almost all of the signs. Let's see what else. Seven of Wands, Hangman, and Nine of Wands. So there was a all right. Let me take a look here at their energy. Nine of Swords, King of Swords, everybody. They're very unhappy, I can see that. They're very, very uh miserable. I I think you can say miserable basically. Because we have the King of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse, which is kind of someone who's in misery. Um, and they're in misery because of the lack of communication um, happening between you and them. We have the King of Swords, which is communication. So if they wanted to, they could communicate. Nothing is really stopping them, but they don't want to seem weak in, in your eyes. 
They don't want you to see them as weak, and for them, um, emotions are weakness. They're trying to avoid exposing themselves or like making themselves vulnerable in front of you or emotional in front of you. They're hiding their, their feelings. Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, too. Oh, okay. Well, this person definitely has feelings for you, and their desire is to reach out to you and to express their feelings to you. Um, there is a missed opportunity here that they're thinking about. They feel like there's a missed opportunity between you and them. They're resisting. I feel like they're resisting giving you this ring. Obviously, um, not literally a ring, but like, it's almost like they want to give you a present. <laughs> they're resisting giving you some kind of present. It could be an apology, that ring, by the way. I am feeling that. It feels like a feels like this person wants to apologize, Libra, but they're resisting apologizing. I feel like this is the way they want you to see them. Seven of Wands can be kind of like very like tough, tough, like aggressive, serious, strict, stern. They don't want you to see them as emotional. They want you to see them as someone tough. But it's definitely getting to them. I can see that it's getting to them, especially with the strength card. I feel like they're starting to get tired, you know, or like drained. They're starting to feel drained with their own self, you know, with their own energy of resistance or reluctance, stubbornness. There's nothing really stopping this person. It's just this ego. With the strength card, it's just ego. They're definitely um, waiting for you to, to make the first move, you know? Even though they know that they should be the ones to make the first move because apparently they feel like they need to apologize or like they know in, in their consciousness, they know that they owe you an apology, but... They're too stubborn for that, so they're just waiting for you to take action. And once you take action, then they'll um, consider apologizing. They might not do that, though, because strength is here. So I feel like if you do reach out to them or if you do take action, then they'll just forget about that apology that they know that they owe you. You know, it's like they'll, they'll get comfortable. If you were to reach out to them, that's going to feed their ego, basically. It's going to feed the monster. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move on to the extended now, Libra. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching, Libra. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.